One of the lesser known insect pests of pecan is the twig girdler. It's not one of the major pests. Normally it doesn't cause enough damage to really kill the tree, but it's lesser known for other reasons. One of which, you see it's damage here. Most people when they see it just think it's a few branches that have been blown out of the pecan tree in a windstorm and don't think much more of it. You look at these branches and look in the end, you'll notice they've been very neatly cut, almost like a miniature beaver has been working at it. And it's been almost completely girdled. And then when you get a windstorm, it'll, the wind will finish breaking off this branch and it will come sailing down to the ground or become lodged in the tree. Now the twig girdler is a beetle and it will girdle the branch and it will lay it will lay its eggs in the branch. You see there's an egg laying site here. There's one further up right here. This will come down. Those eggs will hatch. And the larvae don't grow very much in the fall and the winter, but next spring they will grow rapidly and burrow into the wood in that branch and then come out and pupate in early midsummer and then towards the end of summer, August, early September, the adults will emerge and start girdling the twigs and laying eggs and start a whole new cycle again. Right over here, you can see one of these branches that has just started to break off. It's had See where it has been girdled and it's starting to break out. And as I said, this damage is caused by an insect. It's a, a grayish beetle, not quite an inch long. It will, gir it will just walk around this branch, chewing out a little bit of wood at each time until it eventually gets small enough so that it will break out and fall on its own. You can spray for this pest if you desire. It's, the timing would be sometime late August, early September. Uh, usually that's about the time you'll be coming in with your pecan weevil sprays. So you may be getting control of both of those insects at the same time. Another method of control, if you only have a couple of trees, is just pick up all these branches and burn them. Right here in my hand, I have next year's generation of twig girdler. All the eggs are laid in these branches. If I can get all of these branches and destroy them, that will definitely cut down on next year's population of twig girdlers, maybe even eliminate it. So this is one thing you can be doing this fall if you have some twig girdler. Go around, pick up all these branches, and dispose of them completely. Either burn them or send them out in the trash. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to finish picking these up. If you do see these branches, just remember it's an insect and look for that little end and get rid of them if you have it under your tree.